Hello. Hi. We uh we have a new set. Yeah. So it's, I we finished It's been since before you got married. <laughs> it has been since before I got married yeah. that we were in this room. Is it well, no, we we did some episodes, but we started Yes. We started this before you got married. The the yes. change in the set. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did the green screen yeah. episode when we were in here last time too, so it didn't feel right. Yeah. Is it just me or am I just now noticing that there's definitely echo in here? I mean there's a little bit. But like there was before too anyway. I'm kinda of frustrated now because I just gave away all that sound foam to Brennan and I'm like, we could have thrown it up. Yeah. In the <laughs> we could have thrown it up right around the top yeah so uh, as i should probably actually show the screen this is the set yeah it uh, looks familiar ish doesn't it yeah like our our thumbnail for all the long distance episodes we didn't know you guys would be watching that many of yeah <laughs> this is uh yeah let me get my uh let's smoke these cocktails but yeah it, it's okay it's smoke, a lot of the I'm same well we have two dice we can both roll This is how we give ourselves advantage. We both yes. roll and take the higher roll. There we go. We should start doing that now that we have two sets. It's a new. It's a new set. Light smoke. Light smoke. Okay. Let's roll. Ten. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Even with advantage, we suck. <laughs> Dude, it's on. It is cool to like be able. To, I mean, we're we're actually yeah. looking back at our own screen for this time. Yeah. But it's cool to be in this room and actually see all of the all of our things. It's there is new things. One or two new things. I yeah. My mace, Windu lightsaber back here. I, I needed to get that on here. Uh, I still would one day like to eventually upgrade Manny for. A manny. Well, he's, a, he's got to go through puberty, man. Yeah, he's we, only like four years old. Yeah, we got to yeah. let him get through puberty. And then... Uh, I didn't smoke that enough. Yeah. Ugh. I called it night smoke. That's bad. There you go. Um, Let's cheers these ones, though. Yeah. This is the brownie old-fashioned. <laughs> oh, they're both sprayed. <laughs> I just wanted to squeeze it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the brownie one? Yes. Nice. Yeah, I got a I'm not gonna lie, I got a little jealous, man. Kai was rubbing it in my face. That one's way better than the one he had though. Oh, that is good though. That said it's only better because Wow, I, uh, oh the aftertaste is it's Tootsie Pop aftertaste. Oh, I get that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's only better because I made the one before. With more love. With more love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not more uh, practice. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, but it's... um, Dude, I'm just so glad to be on the set using this thing again. Yeah. And then we can actually, like... Dude, it, it, was in a fucking hotel. I know. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. Because, to be fair, like, yeah, we were both in really dumb situations. Yeah. Like, it, it's convenient to have the green screen... But being trapped essentially in like a three foot cube. Yeah. Like I had space and stuff, but it was also like. It's not your space. Yeah. It's not my space. And like, I was like, I was so far from home. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, we're going to do a podcast. And I'm like, well, we're still hanging out, but like. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's not. It's definitely not the same as this. Yeah. And I, it's, um. I'm gonna try the right. This is just a smoked old fashioned with some. Uh, I'll cheers it for you. It's probably probably good enough. Yeah. Did you squeeze this one already too? Or no, I did not. I'll try it without. And then I'll squeeze. Oh okay. Um, I did it with uh, just Dragon's Milk bonded, so it's stronger oh, whiskey, good. but it's good. Um, go ahead and continue talking. It's anyway. good to have a good fucking mic stand, by the way. Yeah. I know. I thought of. I thought. I was like, I realized when you took, sorry, when you took that one, that it was. I was like, man, 
like he's gonna be like fuck and I'll be, I'll be honest I missed these too because I had the yeah I'm using a over on the desk I'm using a kick uh, <laughs> a kick drum mic stand <laughs> well, I mean it, I mean it's honestly it actually well, that's fair, good that's that's useful for a desk setup that's 90% of what people that do yeah. desk setups use for theirs so I just did I was like you know what it worked perfectly but it didn't feel and ninety percent of the problem is that it's also less than a foot away from the screen. Yeah. So it it was just such a tight. It's it was like recording in a closet essentially. Yeah. Like a a, a tiny, like that the half walk in. It's like it's the kind of closet that a real estate agent would look at and call it a walk in closet because you can take yeah. two steps into it yeah. instead of one. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Time for me to get comfy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I'm like, yeah, we can. Uh, we 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 did this arrangement. What do you guys think? Um, so we can uh, have we, a little more space. We already had a little bit of time to ourselves to enjoy the new set. What do you think? Do you, do you guys notice my favorite part? Well, we're looking uh, at my wall, but that's my favorite part of my wall. That and the sword. Uh, but my favorite part of the whole wall is something that looks edited in. Yeah, we it fucked with us, man. Yeah, it fucked with me so hard, like man. Like we sat down and we like, all right, let's. We turned all the cameras on, figured out all the angles, and then like we're looking at the screen, and we're like, does it look right? And then I realized one, I didn't set the camera even enough. It makes me <laughs> mad. <laughs> Sorry, and I'm, as I'm looking now. Yeah, but two that that almost looks like it's post edited in, but like yeah, it's, it's not. not. It's it's on the wall. It's oh, a decal. That's, that's me. Yeah, it was actually not that not that not not that expensive. It wasn't, and it yeah. honestly worked better than I expected. I'm very happy about yeah. that. I was like, I I ordered it because I was like, I don't want to try to draw this again. I drew that by the way for anybody that didn't know. I'm pointing at it, but it's pointing at nothing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to try to draw that again because I haven't drawn yeah. in a long time. Yeah, we were going to have to draw it on the yeah. wall, and we were going to like try and paint it to look like that, and it's like, no, this is just... That would have been so hard, man. It would have been so difficult, and it would have taken so much longer, yeah. and it, like it would have been smarter if we were just like... Hey, artistic friends that paint yeah. well, can you just come I, through that? That, that was my plan. Like, if this looks like shit, I was gonna hit up like everybody I knew that could draw and be like, "Hey, I need you to draw something for me," and then be like, "I drew it. I give you my permission. I just can't draw it again." <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm like, there's, there's part of me that next time I'm like. I mean, we already kind of talked about it, like just joking around about what the fuck we'd do next mm -hmm. time, just because it's, in a way, it's fun to talk about what we want to do to yeah. it than it is to do it. Uh, especially when, yeah, you you have to leave as soon as we start it. Yeah. But so next time, we're definitely not doing it until you're, we're both definitely here. Yeah. Well, to be fair, like we also didn't, we didn't know. No, we like, didn't. Literally, we, we didn't know. We did the long distance ones because I was like, um, we did it like for practice because I was like planning on leaving. Like I was like, all right, if I get this job, it's travel, so let's blah blah. blah. I mean, I put my two weeks, or I texted my boss that we had to talk while we were recording. Yeah, you know? and then like you got married, and then you went on your honeymoon, and then I got COVID, and then I was like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> like, oh god, yeah, I forgot yeah. you had COVID right after the honeymoon, dude. I'm not going to lie, like, it's one of those things that, like, me and Melissa have been consistently just been like, fuck, I miss Aruba. Oh, yeah, dude, I don't doubt it, man. And, it's, and what's funny is, to me, it's like, it's not the beach, it's not the weather, it's the specific feeling of once we got up in the morning and we decided to finally, like, just, like, get out of the room and go and walk to breakfast yeah there's there was because unfortunately obviously there's no one no one else knows what this looks like but there was when you come out of the elevator there's a casino across there lobby turn your left actual lobby to the front door 
a bar and you, and you just turn directly left and then there's a hallway that separates all that you go down that longer hallway and that's where that buffet is it's specifically the feeling of walking past that bar down that hallway towards the giant buffet that it's that feeling that I want I just desperately want to every day not have to wake up and cook and just go to a giant buffet I get that that's what I was excited for I was like oh I'm traveling like there's complimentary breakfast Man, <laughs> I started at six. You know what time they started complimentary breakfast? Seven. Seven. <laughs> so I never got to have it. I had it one Sunday because uh, we were planning to play Boulder's Gate. And yeah. I was like, all right, what time? And they were like, oh, probably like noon. And I was like, I right, bet I'm going to wake up really fucking early so I could do my laundry. And then I realized because I was up that early, I could go get breakfast. And it was shitty, man. And I, I f- forgot that hotel breakfasts are shitty, but I was so hyped yeah. for it. Like, I'm, it. It's free breakfast, but also, yeah. like, it, they, it's really quickly ripped, whipped together. Oh, or yeah. It's not real eggs. It's the, a carton of eggs. Well, they, they, they did have uh, hard-boiled eggs. Um, okay. Which, that was dope, because I, I went down there, like, so early that nobody else was there. Yeah. Yeah. And I just, I looked at the dude who was like putting all the food out and everything. And I was like, hey, am I allowed to take some of this back to my room? And he's like, yeah, of course, man. He was like, you want me to get you a box? I was like, yeah, you got me a box. And I fucking loaded it with all of the hard boiled eggs. And he was like, I was taking a few. I took like six. And then he was like, yo, if you want more, you can grab as many as you want. I was like, are you sure? And he was like, yeah, I got like 200 back there. So I grabbed, like, the entire thing of hard-boiled eggs. It was just fucking nominum, man. Dude, and you're just like, fuck my Dude. co-workers. Cause, well, because that's the uh, thing, is to be honest, that is the same. If you, that is going to taste almost... I didn't work almost... that day. It was, it was fuck me. Because oh. I, I just stayed in my hotel room playing Baldur's Gate with Damon and Nick. <laughs> it was just fucking yeah. farting up a storm, man. It's... To be fair, like, that, it, that out of a flavor, that is going to be the most consistent... Thing yeah, that you're gonna want there. Throw some salt on it. That said, you also know, like, as soon as you've had the scrambled eggs at a hotel, the free breath, you oh. know exactly what it is. It's, it's a bit of that chocolate, chalky, egg texture. It's passable. Yeah. Like if you really are like, we don't have time to get some food. I I would do it anytime I go anywhere and stay at a hotel. Like, I make, like, a concentrated effort to get the breakfast. Um, like, especially at, like, cons and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, like, I'll, I'll get the complimentary one. Like, well, depending on the con, because some of them, they don't have it because there's so many people there. Makes sense. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll get that, and then I'll bring, like, a plate back with a bunch of the bagels and cream cheese and yogurts and shit. Yeah. Like. That's fair. Yeah. Like, what, every time I've ever done it, I just always get, like, at least a bagel mm. for the carbs. A scoop of the scrambled eggs, just because I'm like, eh, whatever. And then, I mean, if they have bacon, of course, I'm snagging some meats. Yeah, I'm course. snagging meats. It, even if they suck, they're still whatever. It's okay. I'm going to eat some of it. And then, definitely toast. Yeah. And depending on the cereal, if they if I'm really feeling it... I'll, if they have like the little mini, what? yeah, the mini boxes. Dude, we we do this so often. We just talk about food. <laughs> hey, you know what? Like, I started doing this at work today. So, like, at my work, they made us come in. Oh my god! Yeah. To sit and do, we did ten trucks at the vi- not even ten. Sorry, not ten trucks. The line ran for the last ten minutes mm-hmm. of the day. Out of eight hour shift. And we were just like, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, this is ridiculous. We do not need to be here to do that. Anyways. I, I could talk about mine, too. Oh, I know. You, yeah. I'll give you a second there. But we've, like... That said, like, the problem was I should, yesterday... I should be sipping on the other one. I'm going to drink that one too fast, and it's good. <laughs> right. That, that said, the last time we did it... Uh, or, sorry, I should say, yesterday... Mm. Same thing basically happened. Like, we went down after, like, I think 
10 minutes, an hour, and we basically stood around and they didn't let us go home until the last hour. They let us go home an hour and like an hour early. And then they didn't let us go home at all today. They just made us sit there the whole shift until 10 minutes. So it was like, all right, at least today, like I had the feeling of like, all right, I know what I'm going in for. It sucks, but like I'm aware that this is the situation. It's not yesterday where it's like, are we going home? Are we not? Are we going like that? Because that it's a totally different thing to be like, all right, cool. Just get situated. Because like I don't want to go start like a good conversation with a coworker. Yeah. And then be like, oh, they're going dip. Because I, I mean, I have had that happen. It's I've had it plenty of times. But yeah, yeah. so sorry, I'm sidetracked because I was just mad. I've been, I've been real fired up at work, and we'll talk more about that after. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, anyways, so this morning started off with talking to my coworker Dom about uh, food. Mm. I was telling him about Copenhagen. We were talking about a little about music too. Yeah. And then he was saying that. His, his girlfriend loves Italian food and that he was looking for a place to go. Yeah, you told him about Mario's. And I told yeah. him about Mario's because I was like, hey, he lives at, I think, around, like, between, somewhere between 15 and 16 in Cali-ish, that yeah. square chunk, if you put a chunk around there. He's somewhere around that area. So I was like, it's relatively close to you and it's, like, phenomenal. And then I was just showing him all the food. And the problem was, is we were we were both just like, it made it. I ended up eating my lunch at eight o'clock because we just talked about food. Oh, and then I was showing. I, I paid a guy to go get me lunch because I was stuck in that fucking training and was like, bro. And they're like, hey, we're gonna go to the restaurant. Like, you want to come with? I mean, no, they didn't go to a restaurant. Um, but yeah, they were like, we're gonna go to lunch. Uh, when when are you breaking for lunch? And I was like. I, he said we're done at 1245 so I don't think we are and then yeah. we had another meeting at 1 o'clock so they were like oh damn that sucks and I was like I will pay you money to get me food and they wound up buying me lunch and it was, That's it was cool. good but anyways continue I'm sorry well no I so I I, I also was telling him about um, him and a couple co-workers about the standby so there's a it's a it's the standby Detroit it's a cocktail mm-hmm. Place. They also have food. So it's a restaurant. I okay. was gonna say a speakeasy, but then I was like, wait, hold on, they have food. I think I might know the one. Um, I, I don't <laughs> want to mention it on air because I think if it's the one I'm thinking of, um, uh, I'm really glad we're on the splitter now. <laughs> um, Brandon just puked all over uh, his penis. I coughed phlegm. Yeah, he coughed phlegm. He's sick. Uh, it was very gross for me to see, and I'm glad you didn't have to see it. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to mention the person that I'm thinking of because yeah. I, I think they're potentially getting a job there, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, uh, either way, I was just like, okay, like, um, I'm showing everyone these cocktails because they did a uh, like a whole menu of what's the word for it. Um, Um, we didn't move the trash can over here like we talked about. Over here. <laughs> um, but we did the uh, sorry, I, they did like a whole menu of food items, like baklava, lemon bar, samosas, apple pe- and pe- pear and apples, uh, tartine streusel or no apple streusel, um, a, a tomato uh, focaccia. Oh, that slaps, dude! Right? I'm sorry. I continue. I'm gonna get on no. a tangent again. Too. Yeah. So they, yeah. So they did this whole menu, and I'm showing them all this, and I told them about that place, and I showed. I went all the way back in my photos. I still had the photos of that meal, so I said I showed him the photos, and he was like, "Oh, like the portions mm-hmm. are really good." And I was like, oh, "Yeah," because yeah. I showed him the menu prices. He's like, "That's actually really good," and I showed him the portions. He's like, "Oh, that's really yeah. good, dude." Um, Kai and Chrissy, I feel bad because I haven't been. I'm home, but I haven't been home. Like, and uh, you're making up for like three months. Yeah, so I'm seeing like everybody I can, and then we're doing the podcast and stuff. But uh, Tuesday, they asked me while I was in in Canada. Uh, they were like, "Hey, we're doing dinner on Tuesday. Do you want to come with?" And I was like, "That's recording day." 
Brandon and I have to set up the set, and then we're going to record, blah, blah, blah. Um, I found out they went to Mario's. <laughs> Are you I was serious? Like, I was like, I would have I would have moved the date, and Brandon and I would have figured it out. We would have went to Mario's. I didn't tell them this. You're finding out now, Chrissy, if you're watching. Yeah, um, I would have been like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, That's cool. but I was like, oh, my God, it's so good. But I didn't find out until, like, I got home from here, and then uh, – the 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 night prior uh we've got a i this is a fun story um so you know the the house by us i don't want to say what direction but yeah. you know the the one that's yeah. got like the the halfway house yeah um there's a new resident and uh very fresh to what they're going through and i i wish them the best but yeah. you know they're in that that stage where it's like please don't talk to me um, they like knocked on our door at our front door and I was like, what's going on? And then Chrissy looked out and was like, I, some lady out there knocking. I was like, Oh, maybe it's that clipboard lady from the last time I was home. Like, let me go out there and be like, we don't want your stuff. Went out there and she was like, Hey, can you drive me to the grocery store? And I was like, what? I was like, no, it was Sunday. I had to go to, to D and D to play with you guys. Yeah. Uh, I was like, no, um, no thanks uh i can't I'm, I'm about to go to work i'm sorry i lied i'm sorry but i'm also not gonna i'm not gonna drive a stranger to fucking get well, groceries you were about to leave anyway so yeah you, i mean all you yeah regardless you're like yeah. no i'm going somewhere but fucking um but fucking but fucking uh she wound up like looking through like looking towards our house while i was gone on sunday so i started to charge the ring door because it was low so i charged that on sunday and then or no i charged it on monday because chrissy was like hey the ring doorbell's dying and they oh, yeah, were looking through recharge. on sunday i gotta put ours in yeah i gotta put our other camera up um but i started charging it monday and it didn't charge enough so tuesday when i got home from here i plugged it back into charge and then it was like 10 11 o'clock at night i was like all right i'm going to bed so i'm gonna go pop this back on if it still needs to charge Someone can do it tomorrow, but it's got enough charge. While I plugged it in, like, it detected my motion, so it notified Chrissy, and she pulled it up to, she's like, oh, my God, the creepy neighbor's at our door again. Mm -hmm. But it was me. So they're all drinking. They're with their friends, and, like, they're talking to me and blah, blah, blah. And then I hear, uh, I think it was their buddy Marco. Uh, he was like, we're at Mario's. Why couldn't you go? And I was like, you're at Mario's? <laughs> That, uh, uh, dude, no, that place was phenomenal. Like, I was thinking about it today because, like, I'll I I can't even remember if I've shown you this. So, like, I when don't know. you it, show probably, me everything, we have no secrets. It, I don't, I don't remember if I pointed it we out. Have so a in few the basement, secrets. I I accidentally like punched the wall. I've done that with my ass. <laughs> well, okay, so this was like it was the week that when our furnace died. Mm. It was so it was okay. First, it was Melissa's grandma was then in the hospital, yeah. which we were knowing she was going to hospice. And then, uh, then like two days later is when our furnace died. Mm -hmm. And I knew, like, obviously, I was like, so I was just like one of those like frustrated, like, I'm gonna, like throw my arm. Yeah, you pulled a Markiplier. Yeah. Yeah. And I ended up like punching a hole, like, not a hole. Like, obviously, you can't even see it. Like, it's a dent in the wall just above the light switch in the so basement. So we can. We can bring back the framed photo. We could from your your old house. We could. Hell yeah! I got. I actually have frames in my room right now. I can bring them over next time. That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I. But I was like, sorry for, for a second. I. This is the first time this episode I've totally forgotten to like. Well, probably not. We'll see. Yeah, you're fine. I am. I'm getting uh, honestly. I'm doing uh, all right. I'm gonna another tangent. I'm sorry. I had an idea because I've been watching through the older episodes to find clips and stuff. Yeah. I had an idea for a bit that I really want to do where every time you forget to switch to me and I'm talking and it's just facing on you or vice versa, I'm just going to take, you remember the old photo of you where it was at the Buffalo house where you took your shirt like that and your nipple was oh, out? Oh no. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I have that one. And then... Uh, I haven't shared it today, but it popped up in my memories. It was me from nine years ago. 
uh, Sean Hill. What's up, buddy? You don't watch. Um, oh, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> watch it. I'm not going to lie. It's been so long since we've kind of talked about any anything yeah. in that realm that I was this like, was, wait. This oh. was pre-Buffalo. This was when I moved back from Oklahoma. Yeah. But I was, I was living at Xander's house, and he took a video, and I thought he was taking a photo. And I'm talking to, to Xander, and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. And then I look over, and I was like, oh, it's a, it's a video. And I was like, eh. And then, like, I, like, posed. I was like, oh, my God, that's cringe as fuck. I'm going to share it. Um, okay. But I'm down. going to take a screenshot from that, from me from nine years ago. So every time you forget to swap from me... I'm going to throw that photo of me up. And every time you forget to swap from you, I'm going to throw that photo of you up. Damn, dude. Okay, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, I... Uh, I'm going to forget to do this. Especially... Yeah, I know. I, it, what's funny is it's just like... I was doing all right. Like, I was like, I'm doing... I, you like, have I, been. I've been... I can actually see it now. So I've been, like, watching. Like... I'm... I'm so that's the thing. Is like, I'm, I was doing okay about it. But then I also... We just started getting really into the conversation. Yeah. And we... We haven't been in the same room to talk for a while. In I mean, a while. Other than other than when we <clears throat> set all of this up yeah. like Tuesday, we like yeah. we haven't really gotten to hang out. And even then we were kind of just still like, all right, we got to get this yeah. done because you're dry you're still driving like yeah. 40 minutes to get here. Like uh podcast days for anybody watching. Uh Canada where I was at was about three and a half hours away. But, According to the GPS, it was a lot longer because crossing the border is a huge fucking hassle for me. Um, yeah. I'm on a list again. Um, <laughs> yeah. But for comparison, me coming out here with where I work, uh, it's about a 45-ish minute drive from my house to where I'm working right now. And then about an hour drive to your house. And then about an hour drive back home from your house. So it's it's like a solid. I'm going to Canada every <laughs> Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> it's yeah, I feel bad. It's fine. There's a lot more deer. Like uh, that. Um, that's been the only issue. I'm probably going to be driving a lot slower coming to your house because Tuesday I almost hit a deer, and today I literally googled just like the route from my house to St. Clair yeah. just to kind of have an understanding. It's, or it, it's and it's rough. just a straight shot, but it's all across yeah, all of the it, farmland. It's all country. Like, today it was like a... It was a... It, I don't want to... Is somber the right word? Yeah. Melancholy? It, it was like... It was it was like a happy sad. Because uh, the route from where I work to your house yeah. is very similar to the route from Oswego, Kansas to Parsons, Kansas. So oh I was like, I was driving and I was like, oh my God, it's like going from grandpa's house to Aunt Tabby's house, you know? And then you're like, oh. Yeah, then I was like, I should go down there and see them, but it's going to be a while. Yeah, I uh, I saw that and I immediately, because I've driven that at one time. Yeah. The problem is, is like, for anyone that's fucking still listening past this point that's not familiar with Michigan uh, it's, basically it's, it's Oxford country. where I'm at is like it's we are just to the point of like north of us is when it absolutely yeah. is country bona fide for yeah. the most part when I would drive to Lapeer it's literally like just past you guys is when it's country yeah it's yeah. like it's country for a giant chunk and then there's Lapeer and then there's more and more yeah. country but like for same thing like to the right of us like yeah if you're sorry like if you're <laughs> this is good uh, yeah audio. <laughs> i'm sorry uh, sorry audio <laughs> listeners i'm trying to figure out how to do the michigan hand thing <laughs> we're like here and then everything this way is farm fun fact mostly I, i've been here since 05 I don't get the hand thing. I, How? Dude, I don't know where anything is. I know pockets, but like yeah. le legitimately you take me to Oklahoma or Kansas, I can fucking get you anywhere. Yeah. And I, I didn't know how to drive, but I, I know the fucking area. Hmm. Like, I don't need GPS down there. Okay. Like, it's weird. But up here, I'm like, I know pockets. So, like... 
Yeah, I guess because yeah, we have lived here our whole lives. I know I yeah. have a general idea of where cities are by the hand because I've also watched a bunch of people say, "Oh, well, this yeah. city is here." You know, I mean, I I can't do the hand thing on here, but <laughs> Oklahoma, baby. Do you want to see another trick? See, my favorite you, thing do, is, do you is that see you did trick this and then yeah. you fired. <laughs> fired. I, please tell me the camera was on. You want to see a trick? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> but you want to see another trick, Brandon? Yes. Oklahoma, right? Yeah. Right, ready? Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not fucking special. <laughs> I mean, to be fair... Other than Oklahoma, ours is the most state accurate hand moment you can do because yeah. you just do this. Yeah. <laughs> Oklahoma's just and then you, you do cheat. this. And technically, Oklahoma's more like that. Yeah, it's this. Which shout out to I? I was gonna say shout out to you guys, but I'm a fucking Michigander. Oh. Shout out to to us. Yeah, because the Upper Peninsula should be part of Wisconsin. Here's the thing: is like I. And this is something I thought about because, like, I really do want to try and go visit, like, the Upper Peninsula a oh, lot. Same. Like, I've never been. I have been to Mackinac Island. Never been. Once. You should go. I've, I've been to Mackinac Island one, maybe twice. I'm going to probably say once. And I've been to Traverse City twice. I've, I've been to Traverse City a lot. Because, you know, my parents live by there. Yeah. Um, I was going to make a joke that's really only relevant to the people in our Snapchat group. That's fair. Um, there's a reason I don't want to go to Mackinac. <laughs> it's all fucking horses. I don't like horses. I love all animals. I fucking hate horses. Yeah. And you saw what I said. I've argued with horses like horses are ornery like they don't fucking listen they're mean hello i don't like horses fuck them they know what they did that said but i do want to go to mackinac and also like i i want to i want to ride horses i want to be a cowboy i will say like so the the one like Civil War base that you can visit on Mackinac Island. I didn't know there was one of those. I would actually like to go see that. Yeah, there's a old Civil War, and they keep it as old Civil War y as possible kind of okay. thing. That's one of the reasons, like, they don't allow motor vehicles at all on the island. That's why it's all horses. Gotcha. They don't allow any motor vehicles on the island except for the ferry that brings you there. Bicycles okay? Yep. Okay, good. Oh, they rent bicycles out. You can, good. you can, uh, they have a whole thing where you can, like, I think ride around the island with a bicycle if you rent it out. But we should do that. Um, That'd be cool. Yeah. We should also, I know we've talked about the boys' trip a lot. Um, yeah. There's, um, well, the one thing with Mackinac Island is there's also a connection be for Melissa because her parents, they're one of their regular, like, hey, we have a weekend. Mm. Let's just go on a let's go to Mackinac Island and that was their trip instead of like paying to fly somewhere else or doing gotcha. anything crazy. So she's like gone the, she stayed at the Grand Hotel, which is like this hotel I think that was built in the early I don't know why I looked impressed. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. I mean, it's a massive hotel that's almost shaped like the White House. And okay. it's built it was built in I think the eighteen hundreds. In they it's it's essentially a very very nice hotel and they also have like a bunch of really nice dinner service kind of thing but in the styling of like 1920s so it's kind of like go, you go there and it's a back in time but it's like the nice back in time not stingy and smelly and shit but um so they would go there a lot so like she's always wanted to take me there i, I shouldn't say a lot enough that she remembers it yeah. probably twice third times but like I always wanted to go into the Grand Hotel. You can walk up to it and look at it and all that jazz, but, like, obviously you don't go in the hotel if you're not staying yeah. there. You look at all the other stuff, but it's up on the hill, and it kind of overlooks all of Mackinac Island. So that would be kind of cool, and I've always wanted to go there with her. That would be nice, and also, like, a good segue. Um, 
I hit four on accident. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Uh, good segue, because uh, I was going to say that we talked about the boys trip where like you and I go down to to meet LT Gray and everything. And I want, yeah. I we're going to get another somber moment. I want you to meet my grandpa too before he passes and whatnot. You know, he's a really cool dude. I want some. That'd I be want awesome. I want my best friend to know him. I'd be um, honored. But your segue, there was a thing that I used to go to a lot. Um, I, I, I can't see riding on a segue. <laughs> that's another good segue because I'm about to talk. To, I'm about to talk about the man on the buffalo. Oh boy, yes. Um, there's a spot in Oklahoma. I went with my parents a couple times. I went with my friend's parents a couple times. Uh, it's the Buffalo Soldiers. Like one of the first okay. like African American, yeah, fully African American. I believe there were some Native Americans in there too. I'm not. I'm not certain. I got. Yeah, I think they kind of. Uh, um, to put it in lighter terms, yeah. minority yeah. group at that point. Uh, but it was it was their regiment, and then near there is uh, is it a reserve? It's a, a buffalo reserve. So you can okay. you can actually go up and like pet the buffalo. Yeah, I want to pet buffalo. Yeah, we gotta do that. We yeah. gotta go pet buffalo. I pet a lot of buffalo. Uh, they're big. Yeah. Like I'm and, not gonna lie, we kind of need to do that, and then oh add, yeah, okay, yeah. we need to do that, and then get a photo of us with a buffalo, and then we will frame it and throw it on the set. I have a, a photo somewhere of. Uh, I gotta ask my mom for it. I think she has it. There's a photo of me. As a child with a buffalo. I feel like at a certain point, I think it'd be funny if if we do start to decorate the wall a little bit more. If it's just filled with like... Because right now, at this point, we technically have three photos of us with a buffalo. We have that one that you're saying, if you yeah. can find it. I'll ask my mom. She, we, she's got the photo somewhere. We have the one of me with the buffalo in Hawking Hills. Mm-hmm. And then we have the one of you with the buffalo somewhere at a casino. Yes, <laughs> I don't so, remember what casino. So right now we could like, it, it, and I'm talking like we do like tiny little photo yeah. frames. Like I mean, you know, not even, not even maybe that big. Just like a, little little baby photos, and it's just us with different buffalo. Like a four by eight. Yeah. Yeah. Tiny, and then. Except for the one that has both of us with a real buffalo. If we get that photo, that is like, that is a bigger frame and it goes, it takes up that little chunk of blue. I'm about it. I'm about it. It would, it, honestly, I feel like that's, if we add anything else to the set, because we were talking about it, like we could leave a little bit of space. I mean, we did leave enough space to where, like, if we find something, that that was my my point. Like, if something goes on while we still, because we're gonna change the set eventually again. But if something goes on while while we're still on this set, like, oh, I found this cool thing, or like yeah. this cool thing we did, like we can throw it up, you know, like a little souvenir thing. Um, well, there's part of me that's like. It, it, it's like I wish that like the next version of this set was in a bigger room. That um, ooh, I heard that. I hope that picked up on the camera. I don't think it did. I don't think because now did. that we're here, we're using Cubase, which yeah. cuts out all the filter. Yeah. It, it has all the filters. On um, it. I cracked my neck for audio listeners. Um, but uh, that's another reason I want to buy a house because I want to like, I want to set up like a spot like you had in the basement. I will like. There are three things I miss about that old house. One very specifically is that set. Mm. That that this not not necessarily the set, the space. Yeah. Also, it was kind of cool to like throw the little bit of fake carpeting that we had down and yeah. kind of totally transform that corner into a whole different it, thing. It was also like. Um. Going to the, down to the basement was like, because it was it was before we did Buffalo. Like it was like true, you know. It was the band space. It was our hangout space. So it was like, once you opened that door to go to the basement, or well, the door was always open. Once you went down the stairs to the basement, it was like stress gone. Like we're hanging out down here. Like yeah, we had so many fucking like 
memories memories and like heart to hearts and shit down there like Dude, so yeah. like putting our set down there was perfect and then i lived down there yeah yeah and i started going to therapy and realized why i had sleep paralysis demons and i dealt with that and you were upstairs sleeping soundly <laughs> yeah <laughs> unless your alarm woke us up yeah i'm sorry but <laughs> Thank you for that alarm clock, by the way. Hey, I still use it. It's the only reason I go to work outside. I, I'm i not going to lie. I legitimately thought about, like, I was like, I'm buying this for his livelihood. I'm buying this <laughs> for his are. life. I'm buying this for my sanity. You were. Because that, yeah, it was funny. But I, uh, also, I do love the fact that, like, we were able to live together for, like, at least almost a year, year and a half yeah, and, it, and we didn't have a single fucking problem. No, well, I'm, I, well, I want to say I'm a good roommate. I think I'm a good roommate. You are. Yeah, I mean, same thing I did at your house. Um, I do dishes to relax. Yes, you do. <laughs> I came home from Canada. I was exhausted. I was tired. Kai texted me and was like, "Don't do the fucking dishes." He talked about that at dinner. <laughs> You know what I did? I did all the fucking dishes. <laughs> he literally brought that up because we were kind of talking about the fact that, like, I, I, uh, it quickly came. I forgot, but you were talking like, yeah, you like. Oh, I oh, we were talking about tubbleware and we were getting rid of the oh tubbleware, and then Chrissy the brought up the fa- yeah, yeah. Chrissy brought up that you like reorganized. I tried the to organize, and she had too much, and there was not enough space. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about the fact that because we finally opened the. Uh, new glass pyrex tubware nice yeah that we yeah. got for our uh bridal shower and we finally like are starting to use that more and we're yeah. in all that jazz and then he was like i was like yeah well you know you, you talk about for the second like how you would clean the house and do that and he was like dude he fucking did the dishes and i specifically <laughs> told him not to and it like bugged me but i got it i get it and like it was it was so funny I, I don't. I don't off, think bro. they they fully understand. Like doing dishes is relaxing for me, man. I, I, mean, I kind of told him. I was like, he kind of likes doing it. It's just yeah. Like, it's a weird fucking thing. Like, but it's legit. Like, it, it takes like thirty minutes to an hour. I can throw my headphones in. I'm standing in one place. Just vibe. I. It's funny because now that I've gotten older, I understand that. Yeah. Like, I, so obviously, like, Melissa doesn't like doing dishes. I never liked doing dishes. I know you didn't. I still, <laughs> like, I, if I was not married. Yeah. I would not do dishes. If you were not married, every time, every time I come over to do the podcast, after we record, I'd be downstairs and be like, hey, can I have a snack? And then I would do your dishes. <laughs> Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, look, yeah. It, it, I, I do the dishes because she also doesn't like to do the dishes, and I like to just make sure they're done so she doesn't have to worry about them. Yeah. But I've also grown to like, I try to do them when she isn't home yet from work. So I just throw the podcast on, and I kind of just zone out, and mostly listen to the podcast, clean, do whatever. Yeah. And I've found actually a way to do it that I don't absolutely hate like I used to where like I don't I'm going to stop because otherwise I'm going to go on a wild ass <laughs> tangent do it man All how right. long are we in 44 minutes I don't give a fuck let's go so I, was, I still got drink I forgot I still drink way too quick <laughs> yeah you did yeah I did uh, anyways my tangent was going to be that um as we're moving forward into like technology like taking over everything uh i was like um i don't know if i could have ever learned to love doing dishes if it wasn't for the fact i'm sorry sorry I'm, not I'm, learn I'm, to I'm love i'm gonna break your dishes your dishes i'm gonna break your tangent uh because my brain shut off and like you're like with technology advancing like I don't know if I could ever learn to love is where I stopped. And I was like, Oh my God, me too. <laughs> Surprise. No, I, I was just like, I, okay. I couldn't learn to like, just be able to constantly do them. I, I bring up the podcast thing 
and I, I get your technology thing. Like it, it has actually, it's made it easier for me. But really, the 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 podcasts and everything else I watch is just kind of background noise. Yeah, like I could not tell you what the shit I listened to was about. Yeah, uh, but as a kid, and I've had people tell me it's a trauma response. Um, <laughs> As a kid, if something was going wrong in life, like, you know, my dad yelled at me for something or whatever. Yeah. I would go clean. Because it was like, it was, I'm getting something done. And I guess originally it was probably like, oh, dad got mad, mom got mad, grandma got mad or something. Oh, let me clean this area and then they'll like me again. It's not. Brain shuts off. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> There's nothing there. You, you disassociate. I full on disassociate to clean, man. And like, I have to do it periodically now. Like, I, I before I went to Canada, I used to like to do it once a week. It was like my Sunday routine, where like all of the stress from work, all of the stress from life, even good stress like doing this. Like, yeah, I might bitch about how it's a long drive. Whatever. It's it's amazing to hang out with you. It's not me bitching about, yeah. oh, it's an hour drive. It's me being like, fuck, I'm tired. And no, then on I get Sunday, that. like, I'll clean. Like, before we had all the cats, you know, I would, like, I would clean the entire house. But now I'm like, oh, I got to see all of the cats. And yeah. they're still separated right now. So it's like I have to actively spend time in one room, spend time in another. It's two swap. steps instead yeah. of one. But that was like my routine where it was like I would clean the bathroom, I'd vacuum, I'd do this and that. And it's not me like trying to suck up to anybody. It's just full on pop the headphones in, disassociate. I, I will no, basically well, not disassociate because that's, yes. a, that's a negative turn. It's it's recuperate. Zone out. Zone out, yeah. Because I that's essentially kind of what I do when I vacuum is like I will – if I don't throw a headphone in – I essentially what I will do is I will just go rip my bong. Mm-hmm. Like I'll get the vacuum out. Oh, I'll I'll have drinks on Sunday. Like Sunday, I ain't going nowhere. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I will just go rip the bong, and then grab the vacuum and just go until it dies. Yeah, because it's the wireless one, yeah. so it lasts about an hour. And in that time, usually I can get, like, the whole house because at that point, again, I'm high. So I just kind of, like, zone in and I just yeah. fur and I run around. It depends on how long I ta- have to take little stops to get Penny. Yeah. But most of the time, like, she's just, like, I throw the ball and she gives up after a second. And then I just try and vacuum the stairs. It- it's once I get to the stairs is when it eventually dies. Yeah. So, uh, but, like, I've learned to just kind of just... Zone zone completely out and just kind of just enjoy the yeah. flow state of just go 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 and it, just it's zone an, in. It's an emptiness out. that is so relaxing. Yeah, and it sounds depressive. It's not. <laughs> it's getting old. I. It's not even getting old because, like I said, I've done You're this since wrong. I was a child. But I will I will bring it back from depressive, and I'm going to ask you a question. Trauma. It's not trauma. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back from depressive. I just depressive. want to say it. I know. It's going to be a good clip. Uh, I'm going to bring it back from depressive, and I'm going to ask you a dumb question. I feel like you have done this. When you vacuum. Yes. Have you ever harmonized with the vacuum? Yes, but not since the old house. Okay. I get Most, that. Mostly because. You lived by yourself at the old house. Yeah. I lived by myself at the old house, but it was also more of an old school vacuum that has the hum. Yeah, you don't have the hum. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's a really high pitched like. Mm, so well, you like, could do that too. You I mean, annoy I, the shit out of Melissa, but you could do it. I could, but it's also it's it's not even a he. It's literally just air. Yeah, it's the sound of just sucking air versus the the old school vacuums have the. Yeah, and you, you did it where you're like the whole yeah. time. Yeah, but I I didn't do the whole time. I would just have like halfway through. Like yeah. well, again, like I said, like if I had the I will, it was the townhouse. All I had to vacuum was the fucking stairs. So I True. I would do it the whole time. 
Oh, that's fair. Yeah. So no, to me, I'm I'm thinking like again. I will. I would go when I would do that. I would just go rip the ball on, mm-hmm. and then I would go upstairs, and then obviously, like as I'm vacuuming, I'm slowly going mm-hmm. up, and then mm-hmm. somewhere towards the peak, if I was still vacuuming, it would be the mm-hmm. and then. <laughs> And moral then moral would, of the story, don't clean sober. <laughs> don't clean your house sober. Get fucked up. Dude, it's a vibe, man. You're partying with yourself. That's the And that's it. It's setting a vibe. It's setting a more enjoyable vibe so that the shitty, yeah. the, the shittiness of having to, like, organize and clean. Yeah. The, the, mono, the monotony of doing so. Yeah. Becomes tolerable and better. And then you can kind of also make it fun, especially if you have a good podcast to listen to. Yeah, I I have I have actually gone to the liquor store by our house. Yeah, and they I don't know if they know my name, but they know me because um, it's the only liquor store I go to. Yeah, um, and I go there frequently. <laughs> Um, I might need to go there with you just because of the shit that I know they have there, and I saw they have good stuff. They yeah. have good stuff. I want to. I know it's. I know it doesn't taste good, but I want to get us this. It's. Uh, I believe it's. It's either vodka or tequila. It's in a Tommy gun. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, it's probably I know not it's good. not good. But you I know it's it. not good if it's put in a super specific cool yeah, like but whatever. I want it. Uh, but anyways, like I, I've I've gone there before, like on a Saturday or a Sunday when I didn't have to work and had nothing going on, and like I talked to them, blah blah, blah and like one of the guys was like, "Oh, you going to a party tonight?" And I was like, "Nah, dude, deep cleaning the house." <laughs> He's like, "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, never gonna, clean your house sober." I'm gonna do a couple shots and then I'm gonna sip on these Trulies. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, dude, you got a twelve pack. I was like, yeah, I got two twelve packs. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm deep cleaning today. Oh. I mean, no, honestly, that is it. It, it truly makes uh, having to clean the house better. Yeah, it really makes it easier. The only I and I had it once at the townhouse where like I went a little too hard. Yeah, and like. I was like, well, I'm going to sit down and watch Netflix instead. <laughs> like, didn't clean shit. <laughs> That's fair. Oh. Um, dude, I... Jesus. I don't know what you're pulling up. The time. I didn't want to look at it. Yeah, it's... It's 8 o'clock. I didn't want to look at it. I know. I hate... Like, that's the one thing that sucks is we can finally record in person, but because... You, you get off so late and it's so far it's late yeah <sighs> I'm legitimately sad to be like we gotta end it because it's 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 I mean we're 53 minutes in it's a good it's a good enough but yeah. it's also like damn like well like I said we gotta try to do uh, a weekend episode we do you know if I wasn't leaving this weekend <laughs> well I work this weekend oh damn yeah. Okay, so are you for sure back for like two weeks? Yeah. At least? At least. I'm trying to remember what next weekend. It, oh, next weekend we're not doing anything. I don't, I don't know what's going on next weekend. Uh, yeah. It's Melissa's birthday. It's the 29th, oh, yeah. so we will be definitely having a date night. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But if you're still... I mean, we could do a Friday if you just... But you have to, yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't, I still have to work there, but and, I could, you know. Oh, yeah, you got to go to work. I, I have to go to work Friday. Okay. Like, it, what it is, is it's one weekend on, one weekend off. I gotcha. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out. But either way, that'd be fun to do a long episode. And then um, I'll be straight. Like, I'll just bring the mixer in here and we'll just make a couple cocktails and we'll just go. <laughs> And we'll just keep talking until we stop talking and be like, all right, let's I'm go play a game. Yeah. Have like our first ever four hour long episode. 
I'm not going to lie. I bet you it's only going to be an hour and a half to two yeah. hours because after that point, we're like, well, let's just go play a game instead. You no, know, I think after that point, one of us is going to say something that's a little too offensive, and then we're going to be like, we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to leave. Uh, but that said, uh, thank you guys. Seriously, it's it's uh, it's awesome to finally show you the set. I know we kind of talked about it. It's uh, it's nice to record here. It's nice to have you in person. And uh, we love you guys. Um, see you next week. I forgot where the camera was. I was looking at the computer. So I'm going to look. I mean, I, that's the thing, though, is looking yeah. at the computer is looking at the camera. It's one of the nice things Maybe. about the way we set this set up. I'm, I'm curious how it's going to look for me because I'm, like, waving, but I'm looking, like, over there, you know? Yeah, it is far yeah. enough. It is far enough away that we can't see where it picks yeah. up our eyes. It probably does, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, thank you guys so much. We love you, and uh, have a good week. We will see you back here next week. Bye. Bye.